In this video, we're going to look at how you can win Series 2 and make better ground. So, our car for Series 2, we're using Logan Sargent and Yuki Sonoda, who is level 4. You can use, though, Alex Albon, who is not too bad on tyre management and will give you similar stats. Or, levelling up one of your lower Series 1 drivers will give you the same effect, as you can see. Now, the car... We've got a few levels increased for our Series 2 car, but you're still going to start near the back. But these are the parts you want to look at for your Series 2. Remember, you want to have a look at total points. So you can see with this Series 1 part, it gives me plus 5, but minus 10. So we don't want to use that part because it is outnumbered by the negative. So we're going to get into some Series 2 races, a strategy for each track and how you can win with the strategy tips. So let's go with Jeddah. And obviously Series 2, we are still learning this game every single race that we make. We've already shown you what car and drivers I'm rocking and you'll want to level these up so you can rock the same. And in qualifying, we are P15 and P16. Now, if you're at the back, you can follow the same strategies here because it just means that it is a case of levelling up and you will get through it. So we're going to split the strategies. We're going to do mediums and hards. And we're going to do potentially a pretty much twos every lap to pit stop. And we're going to boost off. So if I actually get my uh, words out, we're going to pit every two laps. And on the seventh lap, but just before, we're going to pit and do one lap to go. So we've got a nice start up the inside. And what we're going to do is quickly conserve. It's all about watching your battery power here. So we're going to conserve that and just be patient. Now, we might be able to get three laps out of Sonoda. We're going to watch that because if we can, it'll be very beneficial. So we're going to leave these boosting as they are. And that's fine by me. And we're going to just hold on. So we're going to then start to boost Logan Sargent. See if we can make some moves up the top of this track. Now it looks like Sonoda, with your Sonoda, should be able to do potentially three laps on here. And that's a good move by Sargent then up the field. And we're going to come back for some more mediums and service. So we're going to keep on boosting. Rival somehow gets past us on the hards, but we survive for now. And we're going to carry on. So Sergeant's looking okay. Rival's using a lot of his power unit. We'll come back and get him later on. And what we do is just going to keep conserving every now and then using the slowest part of the car just to build up this power unit level back. That's what you want to do when you're not in any danger of being overtaken start to gain it back and then what we'll do is we'll come back you can see the rival ahead has now used all his power unit and we are past Ockham good to go we are gonna try and get one more lap with Sonoda and we're gonna just conserve because that's gonna help us massively if we can and we are on 100 at the minute we're gonna just run out of tyres at the end of this but you will see I won't be very far away from the pits at all. And that will help me do a comfortable 3-2-2. Out comes Sergeant. And you can see the rival just ahead of us. And we'll go on to mediums with Sonoda. And let's start to get Sergeant through then down this bottom end of the track. Targeting the nice overtaking spots like so. And we are ahead of one of them. All over the back of Russell now. And you can see Sonoda just coming to the top. Now, don't worry about running out of tyres on here. We're going to lose a few positions, potentially. We only lose two, and we come into the pits. But that's going to set me up perfectly on the strategy front. As Sergeant carries on round. We'll pit Sergeant at the end of this. Can we get P6 off George Russell? We can. Up to P6. Snowder coming out now as well. And he's got good power unit left. Remember, we've been conserving. So we're looking pretty good in here now. And we're just going to boost him a little bit. Get him round Fernando. 
um, sergeant we're going to bring in at the end of this. We can only do one, so we will potentially we'll do one more medium pit stop. And we've got a component failure on our rival, so that's all good. We'll cut down Sonoda, we'll let him bring a bit of power unit back. And in comes us to pit. So what we're doing here with Sonoda, we're doing a 3-2-2. Two, two. And that's a very patient, as we're getting absolutely stuck in these pits. So Sonoda goes round in P4. Logan Sargent doing a 2-2-2-1. Two, 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 to stretch this out and we've got very unlucky with the traffic but we're out in p14 and we're going to just build up that power unit and have a big run on the last lap snowed for mediums again snowda's loving this see the that was the power you might have run out on hards on snowda and you could use a tire boost to help him here but Snowder's going to get round doing a 3-2-2. Two, two. And into the pits he comes. Sergeant, we're going to still earn that power unit back. We're not going to just push him up any further at the minute. As Sonoda comes out the pack. So, Sonoda P6. Can we get Sergeant up into P9? Up the inside? Not yet. So we're going to cut down again. And we'll come back for one flying lap without servicing. And we're going to just hold fire. But Snowden we've got up very nicely. Sergeant is going to fall back a bit. But he's going to be very quick on the last lap. That's going to be a difference. We're going to get that power unit back up. As it speaks. And here's Sonoda, P5. And look at this, Sonoda coming all the way through now. In to P2. Can we get P2? Oh, not quite. We'll leave him, push him. A sergeant comes in. And he's sergeant. <laughs> sergeant's done by the traffic. We're not servicing, we don't need to. Quick pit stop. And back out. So sergeant should be able to boost to the end now. And he's going to be on the super fast soft tyres. Can we get the win with Yuki Sonoda on lap 7? I don't think we are. Just going to run out of power unit. And indeed we do. But here comes Sergeant making moves. Can Sonoda get the win? He looks like he's not going to be able to. Just going to run out. And he does come P2. Good run from Sonoda. But that bat power unit that we saved on Sergeant is working a treat. Rivals out of tyres as well. We go round the outside and that puts Logan Sargent into the top 10 with a perfectly timed strategy. So Yuki Sonoda, even though he ran out of tyres, we did do a 3-2-2, two, two, absolutely perfect. And Sargent with a 2-2-2-1. Two, 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 and let's quickly just debrief you in Jeddah. And there we go. So Sonoda, three hards, conserving a lot at the start. Two mediums, two mediums. And then Sergeant, two, 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 and one. And look at that. We uh, absolutely did beautifully there with the tyre management available. But great start in Jeddah. We then have UAE and Abu Dhabi in Series 2. So let's get our qualifying in and set up on our strategies. And we've got a tough match up here. P4, P15, we're out the back in P17 and 18. So, what we are going to do, though, is do a hard tyres on Yuki Sonoda, medium tyres on Logan Sargent, like so. And we've got a lot to make up, so we're going to boost the first lap here, or part of it, and then we're going to come back and just look after that ERS again. So that's the key part. And we'll wall up against it here. But Sargent can get a good start. And so can Yuki Sonoda. P13. That's a great start. Leave on boosting. We're ahead of the rival. And we still push forward. With Yuki now cutting down. And also Sargent cutting down. So we get a bit of battery back. 
down the straight. It's every little bit helps. I'm not too bold about losing positions, obviously, at this moment. We're going to cut down again. Rivals ahead of us, but they're about to use all their battery. That's what happens in this level of the game, this early on. Rivals about to start boosting, so he's going to start moving ahead. But if we control our battery, then we're going to be all good later on. And he's going to waste a lot of that. So all we got to do is not worry about positions because Yuki Tsunoda can do a comfortable four laps here. And Sergeant can do a comfortable three as we are. So we're just going to let it keep coming up the power unit. You can see the rival really pushing on now. But we're going to come back at them later on in the race. And again, we cut down on the main strip, main racing line. Come back up for the end of the corner. And yet again, we're still losing out on positions, but a lot of soft tyres, that's why we're falling back. So don't worry if you're falling back, just look after your tyres first of all, and they will look after you later on. Sergeant, though, is going backwards, and we're going to start to boost now, Sergeant, just that little bit extra. We're going to have a lot of people pitting, and that's why we're on the strategy that we are on. And here comes Sergeant round the last. We're going to go to softs and service. Already we're up to P12 and P13. Catching up the rival. Who's got no power unit left. And we're going to come back at them pretty hard later on in this race. Snowder's all good in P13 though. And we're coming back up. Conserve again. Down the fastest part of the street. And boost back up in P12, P13. We're right behind the rival who's about to run out of tyres. And we're going to make a move potentially on him. No, we're not. But they're all going to come into the pits now. And our four lap on Yuki Tsunoda is going to work a treat. Because we're going to jump a few cars here. And we've got some good tyres available for Logan Sargent to do some pushing as well. So as we come out the pits, we will leave Logan Sargent pushing. He's got to make up some positions though first. And here's one. And it's going really slow, but we should... No, we're still going really slow. Can we now get past Valtteri Bottas? We're on the softs. And we can. We're going to still save a bit of battery down the straight. We should be faster than this Piastri. As Sonoda now comes in the pits. We've had a failure by the rival. And here comes Sergeant into P18. And remember, people still pitting again. And now we're going to boost Sergeant. So we boost him out and we're going to bring him back for some hards. We're going to boost him all the way here. We're going to leave Sonoda on medium. Or we'll move him up to fast for the straight. And Sergeant gets beat out of that corner by Hawkenberg. But does then get a few positions. We'll cut down. As we try and get a bit of power unit back. You can see the rivals broke down as well. So remember we started P16, P17 in this race. And we're doing two strategies because I don't want you to follow the same strategy for both drivers. Because you will get double stacked in the pits. So Sonoda's right on the limit of that 75%. We're going to boost through into P8 and cut back down. Sergeant comes back out now. But don't worry about losing positions. All you've got to do is beat your rival. And in this case, we are at the moment doing it just fine. And remember, our tyre management is pretty poor. So we're going to leave them on medium. And we're going to make a move on Ocon, are we here? Not quite. And a lot of people are still going to pit here. 
So we're actually in a really good place just by taking our time. Sonoda's at the limit of his tyres. You can see 50% he needs, so he might run out of tyres last corner. As we try and get past Ocon. But everyone's pitting again. And Sergeant's going to make some decent positions here. As we start lap number seven. So he's up to P13. Sonoda's still trying to get past Ocon. But there's going to be... Ocon's going to be pitting this lap anyway. And we're not going to just rush. We don't need to go past him. We just need to watch them tyres. Sergeant, we can start to push very shortly though. And we can smash past everybody else. We're going to leave. Well, we've got a bit of room behind us. On conserve. And Snowda is very close on tyres. We're going to have to conserve a little bit this last lap. It's going to be very close though. And we don't even have to use the ERS in this race, as you can tell. Because Sonoda's up to P7 now. And we can boost with Sergeant. He gets up to P11. We'll conserve on Sonoda down the straight. Looking after them toys as best we can. But here comes Sergeant with using all that power unit that he's got left. Sneaks up into P9. Can we get Stroll with our last bit of power unit? We can. We're up to P8. Sonoda's about to run out of tyres, but we've just managed it. Remember, Logan Sargent has got the same tyre management as Sonoda, even though my Sonoda is level 4. We've just run out of tyres. Can we hang on, though? And we can. So Sonoda comes home in P7, Sargent in P10. And we'll just wait to show you a summary of the strategies. Remember, using boosts will help you as well. Any tyre management boosts are greatly effective. And you can see, nice 33 points in that one. One stop worked lovely. And we did a 4-4 with Yuki Sonoda and a 3-2-3 with Logan Sargent. So that free, so free hard could be free medium, but I'm happy to take free hard at the end of the race. Let's move to Bahrain and the third race out of the Series 2 calendar. And let's see what qualifying positions, but you all know where we're going to be starting. It's going to be way off the pack, being done by a P4 and P13. Now, we're going to look at the strategy again this time, and we're going to pick the same as we did last time. We don't have to worry too much about ERS at the moment, but we do with the other drivers. So we're going to do four laps with Yuki, and we're going to do three laps with Logan Sargent. So, let's get a good start off the line. You boost your drivers, you can't affect the race start off the line. And hopefully we can sneak some early positions. And here comes the two. And Yuki Sonoda gets a lovely drive up the inside. We're going to keep boosting though. And he's absolutely flying. That's why you've got to keep your drivers boosting as long as you can. And we'll cut down. Now, because we're on the hard tyre, expect Yuki to start falling backwards. But we don't want to get in the trap of trying to hold every single position. Because that's just not going to be viable. We're going to cut down on the straight to basically earn back some power unit and like we said we're getting overtaken but we're surrounded by soft tire drivers so don't worry about that we're going to keep doing the same again every single time cutting down storing the power unit and you can see we're right on 75 percent 25 percent a lap will equal the four laps that we require and already, we're at some decent power units, 75% for both drivers. Rivals well gone, we're probably going to struggle to win this race because of the bad matchup that we did get. But at the minute, we're laughing as we come through the power unit. We're going to be so quick towards the end with especially Logan Sargent. And we're going to start to see some pit stops now. 
so no need to panic still we're going to cut down again on the straight let's fill this baby up to 100 and you can see we're just now p6 and p8 as we nearly lose a position we're ahead of the rival car that pitted and sergeant is about to want to come into the pit so we're going to pick some mediums again and we're going to do some two laps at the end let's boost now let's close that gap on the rest of the field with sergeant he's only going to use a good 30 percent probably here we get a nice move on a side on alonso we'll cut back down gain that power unit back up and we will come into the pits yuki carries on and yuki up to p4 all about doing that one stop very powerful in the early series and sergeant now comes out so sergeant we're going to be quick at the end of this as we get done by the slow exit of the pit lane but yuki is loving it up at the minute he's going to be back to a hundred percent so we can just focus on sergeant here nearly getting a move done on norris let's see if we can get a move done up the inside here uh, not yet so we'll cut back down remember we're priming ourselves for later on in the stint here and here goes sergeant trying to get past norris all right let's give a boost let's see if we can make a move and there's one we're going to boost to the first corner and look at this sergeant now coming through the pack And the slow exit of the pit lane helps Sergeant get up to P9. Remember, look after your power unit. And you can still come through the field. So we've made some big games with Sergeant. And Sonoda. We're going to try and just bring this power unit back. So we can be very quick at the end of this race. Don't worry about... You, you, we can't do anything about the AI in this case because we are just so far behind because of a bad matchup. But this is the strategy you want to be following around here. As we get past the rival, we are P6 now. And we're going to have Sergeant coming in for some soft tyres at the end of this. Rival's out to P12. So we're still in with a chance in this race. We've got to get packed past that hard tyre though. That's going to be the problem. And at the minute we're doing an okay job. We've at least got Sonoda past. And I think we can get Sonoda through as well here. I think we can get him up to P5. Past Alonso we can. We are in the lead but we are going to pit. So we're going to have to do this the hard way to win. Can we get this lead back over the rival? P12, we come out. Closing it down, though. And we're going to have a slow start out of this pit lane because of the current bug. So let's keep that down. Let's start to push Sergeant. We're not that far behind him. And already on these soft tyres, we are going to have a pace advantage. So we're just going to keep pushing. And there's another move, P10. What about Sonoda? Can we get P3? P3 pit. So we're well into P3. Chasing down the rival. What about Sergeant? He's up to P9. We've got Piastri right in front of us. For P7. We're going to save this power unit a little bit. But these are the strategies. We've just got done by a bad matchup this time round. But these are the strategies you want to be following. The rivals lost a spot though. If we get one more spot, I think we could have the win here. We're going to try and get Perez. We can get Perez. And we are back into the lead. We've got Sonoda climbing over for P3. Sergeant around the last corner. Takes P5. And look at that, rival nowhere. We've overcome the matchup. What a race. That's why you should never give up. What a strategy in Bahrain as well. We beat that tough draw. 
and manage the win. Let's have a look at a brief of the strategy. A 4-4 by Yuki Sonoda on the hards. And Logan Sargent did a free medium, free medium to soft in Bahrain. And lastly, we have Singapore. So let's get into the Singapore GP race of Series 2. Six laps come in in Singapore. And pretty spread out pack. P2, P24 for the rival. We are P14, P15. Bang in the middle. So, Yuki Sonoda, we're going to go on mediums. Sergeant, we're going to go on hards. And we're going to check out and do a free free strategy potentially with both here so let's get a good start remember always boost your drivers off the start because you can make up a couple of places you can see Sonoda straight through the middle and goes up to p10 up the inside as well and a bit of a car traffic jam here we're going to get absolutely clogged but Sonoda is up to p8 we're going to cut down both drivers now as sergeant takes p14 and yet again as i always tell you we're going to just save some power unit as sonoda looks for a move on science but loses out but we'll start to save some power unit now so remember if you're going backwards then it's absolutely fine because you just want to gain your power unit is your best friend and you can see Sergeant just climbing up a bit more as well. But Snowder's in P11. Make up P12. A lot of soft tyres around ahead of us. So they're all pit really early. And we're going to come back at them as quick as we can later on in this race. But we've, at the minute, we're doing a comfortable three laps with the mediums. And look at that. Sergeant round the outside of Stroll. That's what we like to see. Or Snowder, sorry. And yet again, we're going to just leave on medium boost. We've got Carlos Sainz ahead of us, who is on medium tyres. As Stroll gets us back for for taking the mickey out of him by lap, passing him a minute ago. Sergeant's in some good space. And what it's always good to do is look around who's around you. So you've got to think all these softs are pitting lap two. Mediums lap three. Hards probably lap four. So, with this in mind, Sonoda's trying to make some moves. But can't do it just yet. But this is a comfortable free laps for Sonoda. And we've got now a few people in the pit. So let's boost out. Get Sonoda past Verstappen. Can we do it? We can't. We get Perez, though. And we move up to P8. And we'll come into the pits as well. So Sonoda's back ahead. And you want to cut down look after that unit we we'll definitely look at probably doing four laps with sergeant here and getting past a few of these when they pit he's got good power unit left and let's boost sonoda in then sonoda has got a few cars ahead of him so we're going to try and push this into the pits and we can we make a move we can on carlos Sainz. We can on George Russell, nearly. And Sergeant, we're going to do a free free correction because of the car servicing. So we come in the pits with Sonoda. So chances are you'd want to do a free free with Sergeant as well. As we come back out the pits. Now Sonoda's out in P8, so a lovely, lovely start to that for him. We're going to boost initially past Leclerc, who is on the hards. We'll get past him. And then we'll cut back to medium. Because we can't get past him at the moment. Really can't get past him at the moment, but we're going to keep pushing. Is there a move in here somewhere? I don't think there is. There is finally, as we run out a power unit. So Sergeant, you now going to be boosting pretty hard he's got good power unit as you can see and we nearly get taken out so rival's got a breakdown sergeant we're going to just hold back for a minute as he gets p17 couple of people perez pitting now 
and Sonoda looking for a move on Perez. He's going to get done by the Ferrari, but that's okay. We're a lot further ahead than what we probably should have been. A sergeant takes Verstappen. Leclerc. Looking good in this one. Yet again, just saving power unit for a last lap attack. And we're just saving it on the straight. So Verstappen gets us, that's fine. Just going to keep flicking between the two. So now there's a head of Leclerc again. But we are going to come at these as hard as we can in a second. Probably around halfway around the next lap, we will have a go. And these are relatively easy strategies that you can do. A free free definitely works well on the streets of Singapore. With Sergeant currently nicely in P10. Remember, we started fairly far back. Now we're going to just keep Sonoda saving for now. And then we'll shortly start boosting. So from the next corner where that McLaren is now, we're going to use our last lap to start pushing. And already we're past Perez. Let's push Sergeant. So a good move there and a good move into P3 for Sonoda. Can he get P2? Hard tyres of Fernando Alonso. Sergeant all over the back of Russell. And we've caught up Fernando Alonso really quickly. Can we sneak a P2 place? Not quite. We're still trying. We've run out of power unit. But we are going to take a podium with P3. Great from Sonoda. Sergeant can't get round Leclerc. So he couldn't come through as well as I wanted him to. But it is a P10, which is still going to be a win for as WF1 in Series 2. We used everything that we could in that. It's a tricky place, Singapore, but we have managed to overcome the rival in the end with some difficult matchups. But they are the strategies that you want to follow when you come to race in Series 2. And let's show you the strategy just to summarise. Free free with Sonoda, free free with Sargent, making it a nice, easy winning position. So I hope you've enjoyed the Series 2 Strategy Guide. Hope it helps you win as many races as you can. And I look forward to seeing your results as you move through the series.